Did you know of a trend that appears on most universities like UNCW? Jordan Leakes met with health and wellness specialist Megan Sullivan at Topolo Hall to get her input on student gambling. It is more common than a lot of people think, um, especially with the rise in um, things in video games such as Bitcoin. So I think that it's not as publicized as going to a casino to gamble for a couple hours or um, things like that, but there's other ways that gambling has become trendy amongst college students. 75% of college students have participated in some form of gambling according to collegegambling.org. There's a wide variety of ways to participate in gambling, such as casino games, lottery tickets, and the biggest one, sports betting. Students at UNCW Jordan Leakes and Jack Elliott discussed how they got involved in the world of gambling. My gambling started just after I graduated high school and turned 18 and it was just a thing for me and my buddies to do like fantasy football and then it got more into like doing parlays and betting on actual games rather than players. My sophomore year of college uh, I was home for winter break and one of my good friends from high school he said one of his like friends or somebody knew it was like a bookie who would like take your bets and we just always watched sports back home so I just like got into it kind of naturally would throw like five, ten dollars on a game. Ms. Sullivan shared with us that gambling is a prominent trend among college students at universities across the country, and she even talked about her experience with students gambling at UNCW. We know that it's a small amount. Um, it doesn't mean it's not there, um, and it also might not, it might be underreported. There are students coming in that just aren't disclosing it to us. If you're seeking assistance or want more information about gambling on universities, you can head over to the Hunley Health Education Office in the Student Recreation Center. For COM 368, I'm Peyton Goodwin.